Peace guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I will talk um what <laughs> today I will talk about my piercings and tattoos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, first I will start with my piercings. So my first piercing I got was my nose piercing here. Um it was, I think it was a shoot machine. The first piercing I got was with a shoot machine. So he shoot the piercing inside my nose. The hardest piercing I got was this piercing here. That was the hardest. Of course, it is painful because you have to um, clean here inside this part. And um, of course, you will get a longer piercing um, because your nose will be swollen, so of course it is normal that you will get a longer piercing first, but you can always change it. Personal opinion um, was the nose piercing the hardest piercing from the pain. Um, but I have to, um, I forgot. That was actually my second piercing because first I got my earrings. My earrings uh, was the first I got, then I got my nose piercing. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, then I got my nose piercing here, my septum. Um, this piercing, so this piercing was not really a problem for me. The piercer had to slowly pierce um, the piercing. I hope that was right. My English is not so professional, not so perfect. Um, so, um, yeah. The healing process was harder for me. So, the Getting this piercing was really not so much painful. It was really like a short, <laughs> but the healing process was, healing process progress was, I am always with the boob. <laughs> I always, I'm always using and I always used um, this for cleaning my piercings so I cleaned my piercing like this and of course there was blood on it after um, I got this piercing and it was so painful it burned like fire <laughs> my eyes they cried a lot <laughs> but I never lost it I never had problems again with the piercing of course winter time it is not so so cool because um, when your nose is running you have to then it is not so so cool and doesn't feel so comfortable but really I love this piercing so much. And little tip that will every piercer tell you don't get a piercing in winter time because it is cold outside and um, the nose part is really not a good idea to get a piercing in winter time. I think I paid for that piercing here 60 euro? 60 60. I'm not to 100% sure anymore, but it was, I think it was 60, 50, 50, 60 euro. Then we come to my absolutely favorite. Then I got my lip piercing here. Wait, here, this one. It is like a banana. I'm so sorry, I love this piercing too much. It is my absolutely favorite piercing. I cannot live without my lip piercing. Um. I got it for birthday. It was a birthday gift. Um, oh, I cannot. It was slowly pierced too, I can remember. And first he painted the part um, where he has to, um, where I will get my piercing. Um, he used a pen and we looked um, where, <laughs> how it would look like. Um, yeah. So funny fact, all my piercings I got from the same piercer. This is from a new piercer because my old piercer, um, so the old piercing and tattoo studio I always visited um, closed in Corona time. So um, he decided to close his tattoo studio and piercing studio and he, he left, I think he left Germany, that makes me so sad. But I can understand this because in Corona time it was really not easy for um, tattoo and piercing studios. So now back to my piercing. Um, 
it was not really painful. So for me, it was really, the pain was really okay. But we are all not the same. So maybe for you, this piercing will be absolutely okay, but this piercing will be more painful for you. I can only say how it was for me. And for me, it was really absolutely okay. I was really fine with that. And <laughs> I'm afraid of things that can, they are long and they can hurt me. <laughs> So um, I can remember I got my first piercing and I shocked, I, I shocked, I shake the whole time like this. I, I shake the whole time. <laughs> I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So for me, I really need trust for that, that someone will um, pierce me. Are you sure? The healing process or progress <laughs> was really okay too for me. So it was really not complicated. So actually, I had, but I lost them 20, 20, 20, 21. I had two piercings here. And I worked on a Christmas market for that. And um, I can remember I went to the, to the tattoo um, piercing studio. And actually, I had to pay 160 for them. And my piercer was so cool. He said to me, Romana, if you will not bleed, I will give you these two piercings only for 120 euro. And I was like, okay, let's see. <laughs> of course I was not bleeding. <laughs> I got it for 120 euro. But I lost them 20, 20, 20, 20, 21 this time. <laughs> there are videos on my YouTube channel. You see that I'm wearing only one part of this piercing, so only one side. This piercing was okay. It was not really painful. The other side was a little bit more painful. So this part was absolutely okay. And this part was a little bit more. But I had problems with the piercing because the problem was um, always when I ate something or I had meal. Um... <laughs> Sorry. My piercing here because I was inside here apart. Oh, um... That always <sighs> on my teeth. My English is so broken. Now what is wrong with me? But I think you know what I mean. Yeah, and then I decided to um, take them out. <laughs> and no, um, I'm without this piercing. But when you talk, I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, it doesn't make me so, so much sad. It is okay. I, mean, I like this piercings I'm having now. and <sighs> I'm not really missing that my piercing wants to have um, color fight on my two teeth. Oh. So now we are coming to my tattoos. Now I have to think how I can show you. I'm so sorry I'm filming now in my bathroom, but the light here is much better. So <laughs> I have to think how I can do it. So I will start with Psycho Toto <laughs> because <laughs> oh my God, I don't know how I can do it now. Psycho Toto. <laughs> it's my first tattoo. I got it 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Um, A friend made it because she um, learned more to make tattoos and I was like, I really want a tattoo, so let's try it. So I'm, I like it. It is not so, so bad. Um, <laughs> the healing progress process was really okay. It was really fine. Then I got this tattoo here. You can see this actually should be Nightmare for Christmas. That was not her. That was her um, ex-boyfriend. But I will not say um, a name. Um, he does that so it is not really on a good it's not really good quality no <laughs> but um i really want if i would get the chance i want to fix that tattoo and i talked with a art, um, tattoo artist who made my other two tattoos um and he said of course we can save that that is not a problem and um you can see the color is not so intensive anymore so we can change it <laughs> so that is that is baby Naruto. Um, that made my friend too. Um, 
I I like it. That was the first time that she made this kind of tattoo, and I'm just like, oh, that is so good. I like it. I'm really, I, I really like it. For you, my other tattoo. That is my other tattoo I got next. Um, so you can see it better now. And last year I got um, this tattoo here and this tattoo here. So they are both connected, so they are having both the same meaning, so they belong together. Um, I always bought my um, cream for a tattoo by the um, tattoo artist personally of course you can use something else too um you can buy specific things by the supermarket so you can use this tattoo cream after um the fourth day so after four days you can use this tattoo tattoo cream <laughs> i always bought it by the um um you can buy this cream online too uh, that is the name of this cream. It is uh, Skin Stories Performance Cosmetics Tattoo Daily Lotion. Um, there are three versions of this cream. This cream is for um, UV protection, um, tattoo from the from the sunlight, and um, that your color will not um, get bleached out or your color will stay intensive. So I'm always using this tattoo cream for my tattoos. I never had really progress with the healing progress of my tattoos, never. And what helped me is to take a shower. Um, I mean, of course, the first day is you have to take a shower um, without to scrub my rags. <laughs> I know my English is not so professional, I'm really giving my best. I always washed my piercing with hot water um, because the healing progress was faster after that and first I didn't believe that because the tattoo artist who made this tattoo here told me that and I was like, ah, never. It is a little bit painful but she was right, it really helped. <laughs> so take a hot shower but please not too hot. Not not too hot or you will scream like a baby. Sorry. <laughs> So I never really had problems with um, the healing progress of my tattoos and piercings, so it was all absolutely fine. Um, yeah. The next tattoo is planned. I really want... I don't really want this tattoo, but I have to wait. I have to wait. I really talk, I love piercings and tattoos, and I cannot live without that. So me without piercings and tattoos, that is not me. That is really... No. That would not match me. <laughs> And I can remember I got this tattoo here and a friend <laughs> told me this part can be so, so, so painful. And I was like, oh my God, please don't. And really talk, I didn't have a problem with that. But there is the same like with the piercings. I can think that this part is more painful for me, but you think the other part of your body, you got a piercing or a tattoo is more painful for you. So I... You should not listen to that, what all people are saying um, in the internet, like, oh, God, that was so painful. You can only find out for yourself how it feels. But there's really nothing you should be um, afraid of or worried about, because <laughs> I can remember I got my first tattoo, my first piercing, and I was like... <gasps> so, I really hope you liked this video. We will see us next time. Give love because there's nothing in this world. Love yourself. Accept yourself. We'll see us the next time.